Alright, so hey guys, Shamar Crossfield here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a video for my high school subscribers. This one is definitely for you guys. Um, do's and don'ts. The do's and don'ts of high school. You know, I actually graduated from high school after seven long years. I graduated from um, Ireland High School uh, this year. And because of that, I'd say I'm a somewhat credible source of information, you know, having been through high school for seven years of my life. So today I prepared six do's and six don'ts of high school. These things that will get you through high school and beyond. Do the do's and avoid the don'ts. I also asked a couple of my fellow high school graduates some tips as well but let's sh let's just credit myself kidding kidding first up the don'ts to be honest there's a lot that can be said about the don'ts there, there's so many don'ts of high school but let's start with number one number one don't waste your time in lower school and then expect to make up for it in upper school there's something that exists that is called a transcript, transcript? the transcript contains your grades from grade seven i think next year they're gonna like make six form a mandatory thing so up to grade 13 so from grade seven to grade 13 your grades are going to be on that transcript which most universities if not all will require for you to matriculate into their school scholarships different awards that you're gonna want to go for they will be asking for your transcript and it's gonna look weird if you have um a lot of c's d's even like minus b's you know if you just have some bad grades looking off on your grade 7 and your grade 8 and your grade 9 that's not that don't look good and then all of a sudden you just boost up so in grade 10 and, and, and 11 well, to that consistent individual who um, you said that you are from birth what, what happened to that first don't waste your time in lower school expecting to make up for it in upper school it just does not work out like that okay because your transcript it's basically a history record of your entire high school performance. So, Number two, don't make friends with snakes. Snakes is a very general term, but you know, in this context, I'm referring to snakes as people who use you or people who aren't genuine people. You have to make sure that whoever you're friends with, there's a mutual benefit in the relationship or you can help out this person one time and this person isn't shy to help you out um, another time when you're in need of help they have the same um, moral standpoint as you think the same way as you they try to perform the same way as you all in all you guys have to just you know click doesn't really make sense to have a friendship that isn't benefiting you in any way you know it's kind of it's kind of off and it's likely to not be very long lasting either <laughs> next one is don't use the front stall in the bathroom for any reason whether you're a boy or a girl especially for boys don't just just fully avoid it just don't don't use it please i'm like from me to you don't use it you don't want to be the person who's being recorded or whose door is being knocked down and and and, and the first thing when somebody enter the bathroom they're like <laughs> Yo, somebody in your winner. You don't want you don't want that. You don't want that. The next don't is don't procrastinate. Now I'm certain that you guys have heard this one before. Time and time again. Don't procrastinate. You don't want the work to pile up on you and trust me it will if you keep procrastinating and putting things off it's always better to just do it and then get it out of the way like really and truly it. it's always a rewarding feeling to just get the work done early and so you don't have to be worrying about to have it looming over your shoulders for the entire time throughout the week until it's due do it early get it out of the way and then take the rest of the time off to just catch up on your cartoons <laughs> or something this one you can actually probably touch some people's souls do not listen to those who said that they haven't studied i think we've all been in this situation before you go up to a person who you know and you ask them yo you're studying for the test today you're studying for the science test and the person says no mm -mm. 
I just this man I just this man I took up my book and do a little reading. You know, I know, I know, study, I prepared. And then you're like, you get you, you sigh a sigh of relief because you're like, oh, I'm not the only one who's going to be doing bad. Only, and then I know I said this, I'm only for that same person who said that they didn't study to end up getting like one of the highest grades in the class. You have those people who are just natural born geniuses. Maybe the person actually didn't study. Maybe they actually didn't, but the fact of the matter is that you need to take it upon yourself and take that responsibility so you need to study because somebody else and how them deal with things is different from how you might deal with things. So that same person who was in agreement with you and talking about how them do study and whatever, whatever, and say them end up get higher than you and you end up get one of the lowest grade in the class. Then how you feel? How you feel? No, tell me, how, tell me. How you feel? Say the mic here. Tell me how you feel. You're like a clown, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Don't listen to people who say they haven't studied. You just make sure it's that you study and you know, make sure it's the other look at reading at least. At least try for cram something. This is the last don't. Don't take high school drama seriously. Actually, like don't take high school drama seriously, especially if you're in lower school. It might seem serious at the time, but trust me, in the long run, it's not. You know, high school drama it blows over. Trust me, especially as you mature and get older, you realize that, yeah, you don't have time to really be having beef or malices or anything like that with people. You don't have enough energy. Trust me. You're not probably not on the best of terms right now. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of your world. It's not. Things work out. And most of the times, they work out for the better. Now for the do's of high school. There's a lot of them, by the way. Number one. Do be involved. This one is a pretty obvious one. I, do, I know you guys probably saw this one coming, but yeah, you have to be involved. It reflects on you greatly. So make sure that you're involved in sport, one physical activity that you like to do. Kind of try and take that up. Volunteer a lot. So join the interact clubs, join the key clubs, um, join the, what else is there? Optimist Club. Make sure that you just get involved, that it can help you to be a more rounded student. It definitely looks good on a transcript, on a resume. It definitely helps in the long run and it gives you um, a, a, a kind of a cutting edge, um, especially in like interviews and different things that you might be applying for in life. So take it from me, Shamar Kafi. Make sure that you get involved in the different things, the different activities, the different clubs, the different societies, all the works, all the different things that the school that you're at has to offer. It benefits you greatly in the long run. Number two, form good relationships with the higher ups in the schools. That's like your teacher, your guidance counselor, vice principal, principal. Yeah, form those relationships with those people. Thankfully, I made some good relationships um, with some different teachers and different people at school so when i was actually applying for like scholarships when i needed references for different things even down to like government business you need a reference for and a lot of the times those teachers make up good references and, and most of the time especially when you're in high school and it's a high school oriented thing they're gonna want the references to be from your teacher principal guidance counselor those are those people are definitely the ones who you want to make sure to have good relationships with most of the time different scholarship opportunities different job opportunities um university applications they ask for a reference from your school so yeah make sure that you have those references those relationships unlock because it's going to benefit you this one goes hand in hand with one of the don'ts. Make sure that you have good friends. Yeah, it's probably not as easy as it sounds, but make sure that the people you're hanging around with, they share similar interests to you. Make sure that you guys can uplift each other, help each other out, and, and make sure that you keep those friends close to you. Because odds are, after you graduate from high school, they're still gonna be your close friends, and they're the ones who you're gonna need to talk to, especially in high, in university. You know, because you don't just go to university and make friends right off the bat. At least not everyone can do that. So yeah, make sure that you have good friends around you, good people around you. You know, add this people. This one is for my, this one is for my Ardenites who might be watching. Tell me now, just like out of context, just comment yes or no if you know this 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 quote surround yourselves with people and things that are good for you 
Make sure that the people who you're around, they're good people. Make sure that they can help you out of certain situations. Make sure that they have your back. And, you know, overall are kind of supportive. And it should be a two-way relationship. So they can be the ones who are supportive and you're not giving back that same energy, you know. That's not how friendships and relationships work. It's two-way. Number four. Practice writing. Make sure that you know how to write. Writing is a life skill that comes in handy very, very often. You have to know how to write a good essay, how to write a good paragraph, how to explain yourself, to describe yourself, the things that you're involved in. Know how to write a letter. Make sure that you have these things as skills. Develop them from high school as skills. You know, don't just waste all your time in your English class. You might be saying that it's easy, but trust me, <laughs> you have to write essays in life. It's a skill that I'm actually really happy that I learned and developed in high school. A lot of the different scholarships that I applied for, um, even like different jobs, university applications, you have to know how to write. So when you're in grade nine, at the end of grade nine, you get to choose what subjects you want to do. Um, and these subjects should be geared towards a career that you intend to um, pursue in university. Make sure that you get guidance from somebody who's more experienced, somebody who you know did like CSEC and is in university. Even like a guidance counselor, especially a guidance counselor, they can definitely help you with that stuff. And get that advice as to what subjects you should choose for that career that you want to endeavor into. It's also good to have some backup subjects as well. Who knows? In a couple of years, your mind might change and you, say, and you kind of regret that you didn't do X subject in CXC. And the final do is do enjoy high school enjoy high school hey trust me this is actually a really important stage of your life that you're in high school a lot of changes happening in high school out um this is where you develop your character and really hone in on who you are as a person as an individual you know there's gonna be sometimes where it gets hard stressful you you probably go on cry from me to you who just graduated from high school my biggest tip overall tip is to enjoy high school you don't want to look back on the days of high school and be one of the people who don't have many things to really talk about from high school. You know, you want to say that you can look back on high school and you had a good time. You definitely don't want to look back on your time in high school and, you know, not have anything to show for it. You want to definitely be able to say that, hey, I've matured so much or hey, I've learned so much as a person. I've grown so much as a person. I've had so many fun memories from class parties if those ever become a thing again. So yeah, I definitely advise you guys as a do, do enjoy high school. Enjoy it because it, do, it only gets harder from there. And that's coming from a university student who graduated only a couple months ago. That's me, you know, guys. That's me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that you guys took away a lot. This one was definitely for my high school subscribers out there. And yeah, I hope you guys took value from it. But yeah guys, that's been it. Shamar Crossfield.